is Sean Mize here, and now I am going to begin teaching on the actual elements that you can use to position yourself online as being an expert. Okay, now we've we've covered this idea that you do not necessarily, although I believe and I've already taught you how to literally become an expert in a short period of time. What we're going to focus on right now, though, is being positioned as an expert, because keep in mind, you can be the world expert on something, but if nobody knows it and you're not positioned as an expert, it really doesn't matter that you're the world expert. Okay, and so what we're going to talk about now is once you are an expert or once you're in the process of becoming a bona fide expert, how can you position yourself as being an expert? Okay, now one idea that I've proposed is the idea that you do not have to appear to be an expert to the entire world. You only have to be appear to be an expert to those people who know you, who to whom you are presented perhaps as an expert or perhaps to whom you are presented as being in your niche. Okay, so the, the most common way that, that this might occur, that someone might need to find out that you're an expert, is they are introduced to you. They read one of your articles, they read a blog post, they see something on a search engine, they read an ad that you wrote for pay-per-click, they read an e-zine ad, a, an email ad that you wrote that you paid somebody to send an email out. They are referred to you by a friend. They're referred to you by an enemy. They're referred to you by an affiliate. It doesn't make any difference. They are referred to you as you are this person, your name, and you're in this niche. And maybe you have a 300-word article or 400-word article that explains a little bit about what you might know. But that's all they know about you. And so the natural thing that people do, the natural thing that people do is they have the question, well, how can I find out more about this person? And so when they have this question, how can I find out more about this person, what, what do you think they typically do? They go looking for your site so that they can um, sign up or, or, or find out more about you. Uh-huh. And so what they often do is they go to a search engine and then type in your name, right? Yeah, yeah. And in fact, I believe that's one of the most common things that people do. You've done yeah. it before, haven't you? Google oh, yeah. somebody's name to see yeah. what they're made out of. Yeah. Now, if you go to their name and all you find, because this is pretty much pretty common for anybody who's not done any work to try to make, try to get their name showing up right, if you just Google or look into a search engine for anybody's name, so your best friend's name, your name if you've never done any of the work that I'm just getting ready to discuss, you're probably going to find out that you might come up your name might come up attached to a YouTube video or your name might come up attached to some hobby you have. It might come up as part of your yearbook from 30 years ago. It might come up as uh, part of a court record from when you got married. I mean, it, you know, if you just type in anonymous people's names, it's amazing the, the trivial information that comes up. Have you ever seen anything like that? Yeah. Okay. And so what, what, if somebody's an expert, then what's probably going to happen is there's going to be 10 websites on that first page that all reference that person as being an expert, right? Yeah. Okay, now, the long run way to totally position yourself would be to go create 10 websites and on those 10 websites position yourself as an expert, and that might take you a year to do. And since this is a 30-day program, you don't have 30 days to do all that, and so – and I'm not even suggesting that that's the ideal way to do it, would be to own 10 websites. And an ideal way to do it, in my opinion, would be to have multiple sources proposing you as being an expert. Okay? And so what would happen if someone were to Google your name and find that there's 10 websites that all have positive information to say about you that lead towards the idea that you're an expert in your niche? Would that confirm people's suspicion that you really are an expert? Yeah. That would immediately increase your credibility. It would immediately increase your credibility. Okay, and so my concept is, and I've done this for myself, and I've taught this to others, not in these details, but in bits and pieces. Okay, My concept is that when someone Googles your name, they should find 10 websites that speak highly of you, and that give people targeted information about you. Okay, and that means 
that there's two ways we can do this. One is we can literally go out. I'm going to give you the sources to do it. We can go out and create web pages that on other people's sites and our own that that give people the information you want them to know about you. Now, you don't have to come out and say, look, I'm an expert at this. However, if you ex offer expert advice and someone reads the expert advice, what are they going to assume about you? That you are the expert. Yes. If you literally teach them something they didn't know, they're going to now make the assumption that not only do you know this piece of information they didn't know, but that you're probably a pretty bright person that knows many more things that they don't know, right? Yeah. Okay. And so what you want is to have 10 pages that are positioned with good quality content on each one of those pages. Now, there's two ways we can go about doing this. The first way is that if you're already a little prolific online and you Google your name, you're probably going to find there's five pages that already come up for you. And if you click on each one of those pages, you have to make a determination, is this the kind of page I want somebody to see? Now, let's say that there's a particular article that's coming up, and you've written it. And you read through the article, you have to ask yourself the question, is this the content I want somebody to see who's first exposed to me? If the answer is yes, great, leave it like it is. But if the answer is not yes, then what do you need to do? Change it and replace it with something else. But, yeah. Change it. Go in and edit the article. Hey, yeah. Now, if you've got a thousand articles out there, you don't want to go in and edit a thousand of them. You don't need to. You only need to edit this one article that's already coming up for your name. Edit this article so it tells people what you want them to hear. That's it. The same thing. Let's say that you have a blog post, and you see that that blog post is something that is not exactly how you want to be perceived. Go in there and change the blog post. Maybe your website doesn't come up for your first page. So your first page is the one you want everybody to see. But for some odd reason, the search engine brings up a page that you really don't want anybody to see. You don't want people to see the content that's on that page. What do you need to do to that web page? Change it. Change it. Now, notice you do not want to take it down because it's already got search engine rankings. So you want to change the content on the page. You don't want to change the page name because then it won't show up anymore. You want it to show up, but now you want to mastermind what's on that page. Let's say, perhaps, that your e articles author page is the page that comes up on your Google search. What should that page say about you? It should say that you've got experience in your niche, that you are the expert, and that you've got se se several articles online. Yes, that's what that page should say. And if right now it says anything else, then you would want to go into your easy and articles profile and change that. And maybe you have a MySpace profile. Ask yourself, is the MySpace or LinkedIn profile consistent with what I what I want people to see when they Google my name? Is my YouTube video that's showing, is that the video I want people to see? And you would do this for every one of your existing rankings that are showing up for your name. And I'll get to in a moment for people that don't have any rankings or that only have a few, what you can do to get in there. But I'm just touching on those, those of you who do have information out there, okay? What would it do for you if all you did was go into your existing pages that are coming up for your name and made sure that they all presented you in the, the right light for your expertise? What would that do for your credibility? It would soar. It would be tremendous. Uh-huh. Because if people are going to your name and looking to find that you're an expert and they find just one link – that makes it look like you're not an expert, what just happened to all of the other credibility work that you do? It just went down the tube. It, it went away. They no longer believe you're the expert. And you can control what's on that page. Now, you, you can't always control what just pops up in the middle of the night, okay? And, but, and you can't always control what pages come up. But once they're there, over time you can control them. If you have access to that page, you can edit it. And most of the time you do. Okay, now, 
let's say that there's a, a listing that's coming up that you don't want. It's number three, and it's somebody else, and it's not you. Somebody has the same name as you. Or maybe it's um, a posting that you just don't want there. Maybe it's somebody who doesn't like you. They're your enemy, and they came up, and they somehow made a bad blog post about you, and the search engines posted it number three. What if there were some things to do to get that to go from number three to number 12? Would that be pretty cool? Yeah. Okay, now, I want to stress that you do not want to do anything um, um, deceptive, illegitimate, um, immoral, unethical to move that page down. So if we don't want to do anything to move that page down, what do we need to do to get it to move down? Move get some of your articles to move up. Yes, get all the other pages that are below that number to just move up. Okay, now obviously this this teaching is not on on uh, search engine optimization, but I'm going to throw out enough information here that somebody can do what next needs to happen, okay? One of the pieces to the puzzle of getting higher search engine rankings is increased quality inbound linking. Okay, now, I'm stressing increased quality inbound linking, which means having other websites that are reputable websites have reputable links to your website. Okay, and these can be established by writing articles and putting links in them. It can be established by writing blog posts and putting links in them. It can be established by having other people's websites write articles and write content and put links in it. Okay, now, without going into a big lesson on, on backlinking, I do want to say that you do not want to go out and do anything illicit to get those links. You don't want to buy links. You don't want to spam links. You don't want to do shady things to get links. You don't want to buy guaranteed links. You don't want to go out and get shady profile links. You don't want to do anything illicit, deceptive, or illegal, immoral, or unethical to get links. Just get good, solid links. Write articles, write blog posts, maybe own a website, put a link to your, your article, maybe write a few new articles, put links to it. Generally, for your name, you just get a few good quality links, and you can move your own websites, your own articles up in the chain, and the ones you don't like go away. Now, worst case scenario, you're left with one or two bad ones, okay? Probably they don't matter. They're on somebody else's website. A lot of times they just simply refer to a different person by your name, and most people are smart enough to realize that that's not you. It's not consistent with all the other nine listings. There's something weird going on here, okay? And so you do everything you can, and if it's not perfect, it's okay. Okay, so any questions on this concept of improving your online search engine profile through the methods I've just outlined? No. No? No No questions on that? Okay. Then what I'd like to do next is give you step-by-step what to do if you don't already have those rankings, and we'll do that here you don't have those pages, and we'll do that here in just a moment. 